Welcome back to another anime of the week. <laughs> this is for week, uh, let me look at the dates here, August 4th to August 10th. That ain't right. <laughs> August 5th to August 11th. Jesus, I'm bad. All right, I'm Justin. <laughs> what is up? I'm Logan. It's good that we're cow shot. Uh, so yeah, so we're going to talk about the anime we watched throughout the week and which one we thought had the best episode. So starting with Sunday, that August fifth, I'm, I'm so dumb. Uh, we got <laughs> Hane Vado episodes six, uh, which we got. To it was kind of a, <clears throat> it's kind of like a side character episode. Yeah, because their their tournament started, so there was obviously they all have to play games. So it kind of focused on a side character, but I mean. It was really. I thought it was really well done. Oh, I liked the side fantastic. character. Yeah, she was, it was super great. Just I'll say, her, and then that moment where Aragaki yells in the middle of the tournament, like "Say it louder!" Like that it, was, and then she just yells one more time. I was like, "Oh, that's such a great moment." I'd be like, if I was anyone else playing, I'd be like, "What the fuck is going on? Why are right. they screaming at each other?" That moment was so cool. It was so. Sports may do a really good job of like getting you like pumped or like rallying you behind who they're showing who's playing because like after that happened i was like come on you gotta win <laughs> you, got, you gotta win i did i was i was like come on you got this. like and she ended up losing by like two or something like it was a close game but right but it was it was super good yeah great great thing another one's uh attack on titan <clears throat> episode three which was about historia and her Oh yes, I had to. I was like, "Well, there you go. That's how you know what we thought about the episode." <laughs> I was like, "It's been so long," but yeah, there's. It was pretty much a bunch of backstory on Historia and like how, like, there's a true royal heir, but the current government's like a fake. So they're, it's the scouts and some conspiracy the government. theories. And right, there's a bunch sources. of cons- apparent. The government like brainwashed people. Everyone who went against it was like murdered. Like it's turning it into like a giant conspiracy theory. Yeah, it's like uh, the book 1984. <clears throat> I don't know if you ever read that by George Orwell, but that's basically if anyone's read it, it's it's that story, it's just an attack on Titan. Uh, <laughs> sure, it's, it's about that. Like, I've never, I've never it's about if like Germany w- took conquered Europe and then they took control. They removed <clears throat> like words from the dictionary and started controlling people. And, like if they did certain things, if they didn't, they'd kill them. Stuff like that. Gotcha. Uh, Tuesday would have been Overlord Three, Episode Five. Man, we some of these shows is like blazing through, and we're almost done with some. Of these. We're what halfway through <laughs> the season, <laughs> basically. I mean, there's 13, so close enough, whatever. But the point is, <laughs> that one was the attack on Carne Village by the undead giant that Ainz made to make them attack, to get Lupus right. to be tested, and a very poorly done test. Yeah, we both thought it was, uh, <clears throat> no it was kind of lackluster. Because it, it's kind of, from an anime viewing only it's kind of see hard to see like what the purpose of it was because it was pretty much Ainz using an army he basically took over to attack a village he already had influence and control over so and it's kind of hard to justify that it was just a test one battle made but it could be hopefully it tells us more about it later on because yes, right now there's just no payoff there. Yeah. Right. Uh, the other one for me would have been Angle Voice, Ginko Kensaki. Uh, they actually, it was really cool what they did with the Mongols and stuff. They were, the mountain plans where they they were using like the mountain cliff sides to fight the Mongols. And as they'd come in, they would have the swordsmen block them, and the archers from the side and the forest shoot up, hit them. And then the people that were walking above them, they'd use spears to bring them down. So a lot of strategy going on. A lot of, you know, madness. Just, I really do like where they're going with this. So, if you guys like, just if you like the history. Violence. It's not that. It's like it's just the history. It's so like, you know, the invasion of the Mongols. Learning with this is really cool. Um, Wednesday, Steinsgate Zero. 
which this episode was phenomenal. Yeah, we both gave it nine and a half in our review. It was close <clears throat> to being a ten. Right. There's only like picky details that prevented it from being a ten, but this this we Steins Gate Zero, we have started. We're in the end game now. There's no turning back. Like it was hectic. There were strong emotional moments. Like we had a confession from Mayuri about how she loved Okabe, how she's willing to pretty much sacrifice herself to make sure he's happy. We've had a we had the they're not the rounders, but the other bad guys come out of nowhere, straight up threaten to or they're trying to capture um, and then not going too far into the super spoily moment, which we <clears throat> right. are anyway. So if you don't want to hear this spoiler, please skip I'll just 10 say... seconds. My Yuri gets uh, killed. Yes. <laughs> yes. It was so crazy. So intense. So emotion. Everything about it was amazing. Yeah. So, woo. Uh, Fridays, I watch Harukana Receive. So... They finished their first tournament match to uh, Haruka and Kanata. They they finished their uh, first match. They won. So, yay. They used a lot of strategy in their beach volleyball match to wear out the opponents. Uh, but then they, they lost the second round. They didn't really go into it. Uh, but it was just... You know, actually, I enjoyed the anime quite a bit. Like, yeah, it's like... This your very is like you know some beach volleyball. What else do you need, right? Right. It's not even like the fans are. It's just actually pretty good. So, uh, and then Saturdays, uh, <coughs> My Hero Academia season three episode eighteen. Uh, basically everyone finished the first test. They all passed in a very epic way. Right, it was a very teamwork centric moment for the remaining UA students, and we had some big, big character moment for Baku and Deku, which was very nice to see. Been waiting for a long time. Thank you. <laughs> but yeah, it was, it was just my hero. It was lots of action. Yep. <laughs> I was I was about to go somewhere with it, but then I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> we'll just leave it there then. Uh that was in Persona Five, episode nineteen. Uh we got kind of character building again. Uh then set right. up for the next main part. Uh Morgana's still kinda in this situation where he's starting to feel a little more useless and the newest member kinda of, to the fans, he's even kind of like shunned him a bit at one point. Uh, yeah. And then when he says something, you know, it gets misconstrued by Ryuji. And he kind of gets there's, pushed there's out. There's some eternal conflict going on with the Phantom Thieves. Yes. So he kind of leaves off to go <clears throat> start his own. To, to take care of the palace on his own. Kind of like how he started. So, All right. Uh, but that was... Mostly for some five, so that's everything we're watching. So let's go ahead and jump into which one we thought had the best episode of the week. Which I feel like we were both going to say the same thing: Steins Gate Zero. Yeah, Steins Gate. It was just everything about it was just phenomenal. I already said phenomenal, but that's the word I'm using for it: phenomenal. <laughs> phenomenal. Like I don't know what else to use for it either, <laughs> but just incredibly well done. The emotional. Just storytelling. Mm. <laughs> Just so good. Mm. Mm, so good. So emotional. <laughs> wow, this is the content you sub for. Uh, <laughs> I think that does oh, it for Anime God. of the Week. That's it. <laughs> Spiel time. It's a, a okay. Spiel As time. always. Let us know what your favorite anime of the week is <laughs> down in the comments below. Be sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell to be notified every time we upload. Uh, the streamer at twitch.tv, links in the description below along with social media. Uh, we started a new podcast, We Be Talking, where we talk about 
anime, games, movies, whatever we feel like talking about. And check that out. So until next time, peace out. See ya.